Hey guys, I'm Rascal999, welcome to my second C tutorial. Um, I'm going to be focusing on declaring some integer variables in this tutorial and I'm going to be building a calculator over the next couple of tutorials to give you a, um, you know, it's, it's kind of a more interactive for you guys and um, real programs expect uh, user input so I'm not just going to be developing static programs anymore. Um, I'm going to assume you um, have the knowledge that I shared in my last tutorial, um, you know, in you. <laughs> um, I, if you don't know what um, a function is, or you're not quite sure about the C programming language yet, then check out my first tutorial first, and um, come back to this one, and it'll make more sense. Okay, so with that in mind, we'll get going. Um, if we want to manipulate data, if we want to store data, we need to, um, we need to use variables in our program, and um, the variable I'm going to be declaring right now is uh, of an integer type and its uh, name is a. So to declare it we do um, the variable type and then the variable name, in this case in a. And um, at the moment this um, this value could be anything, okay? a could be um, you know, uh, it could be a lot of different numbers, it's not, it's not actually defined, you know. Um, C doesn't go, oh okay, um, this guy's declared this guy's declared a so let's um stick zero on it or something um the value will always be different and uh, I'll demonstrate that now um I'll explain the uh, printf function in a sec I'm just going to uh get this going first and okay so a at the moment equals this number uh if I run it again it now equals this number and again it's that number and again it it will change um it it could change every time you run the program, so you need to you need to set a value to to a. So we need to, we'll put something in that. Um, there's a couple of ways we can do this. Um, we can either do int a equals zero, so we uh, declare the variable type, the variable name, and the value to be stored in the variable. Okay, so we can do that, or we can do um, we can declare the variable on that line and then assign it on a different line, like that. Okay. Um, because we're doing some math in this tutorial, um, we're going to need two variables at least, so let's declare another one, b, uh, we'll make b equals zero. And I'm going to introduce you to a new function in the standard IO library called scanf. Um, scanf um, takes input from the shell and uh, it could store it in a variable if you specify. So <coughs> let's say we want to take, uh, we want to take in, we're scanning the shell and it's going to be stored in variable a. Okay. Um, the reason I have the ampersand here is because um, we're storing it in the address of a because a is a um, it's basically an address. It's not actually a. Um, it's a to you and it you know a to if you, it's, it's a if you read it, but um, in machine code it's actually an address. So we're pointing to the address. Hence the ampersand, and you do need that. Okay, so we're scanning in. Um, let's just make it clear that we're scanning in A. Enter A and space. Okay, and we also want to um, take B as well. So let's do that too. Uh, scan F to ampersand B. Okay, so so far the program, uh, if we run it, compile and run. Make sure you compile before you run it again, and make sure you compile it before you running uh, before you run it again after you save. Otherwise, you'll be running the uh, old program that you compiled earlier. You know, um, let's say one and two. Okay, um, it's printing out. It's printing out a at the moment because uh, you know if we set a to um, 123, uh, b can be anything. We print out 123. Okay, um, let's suppose we want to um, ad do some addition. Um, the way we do this is a becomes a plus b. Okay, what this is doing is um, this uh, a plus b is a statement in itself. Um, you can that can be on its own line and it will run fine in C, but the result of the uh, of this statement isn't stored anywhere. So the a equals a plus b basically states um, do a plus b 
and then store the result in variable A. So with that in mind, we'll compile the program again and we'll do an easy one, 1 plus 1, hopefully that's 2. There we go. Uh, we'll be a bit more adventurous. Uh, let's do 100 plus uh, 400. There we go, 500. And if you want to be really clever, you can do 10 plus minus 5, and that will be 5. Okay. So we have addition. Uh, our calculator can add up and subtract if you're uh, smart. Um, let's suppose we want to subtract like so. We just change the operator and compile it again. 10 and 5, the answer is 5. Uh, 50 and 50, the answer is 0. Uh, we can also do minus numbers 50 and 100 minus 50. Um, 1, 2, 3, take away 3, 2, 1. There we go. So that all works. Um, let's do some multiplication. That also works as well. 400, 400, there we go. Uh, 0 and 0. Yeah, um, okay. And let's try uh, 1.2 and... Ah, okay, there we go. Um, because because A is an integer, um, this is considered invalid input um, because this is a floating point number. So it's a whole number plus a fraction. Um, so it's not uh, as a uh, compound as a whole. As a whole, it's actually a fraction. It's not a number. So um, if we want to use fractions in our calculator, we need to declare um, A and B as floats, which basically states that. Um, uh, it basically assigns memory address. Uh, it assigns memory um, for both the whole number and a fraction. Um, this is good because it allows us to do fractions, but it's bad because, um, or it, its disadvantages are you can't have as many numbers um, as integers. So integers you can have a bigger range of whole numbers, uh, whereas with fractions uh, it's a smaller range, but you can they can be fractions. Okay, so. Um, the scanf function, uh, actually the printf function, which I was going to go back to earlier, you'll notice percent %d, um, and then you have the variable name after. This states that um, a is a decimal, it's uh, an integer and it is a decimal value, um, so print it as a decimal. Um, if we want to scan stuff as well, it's the same deal, um, except we have an ampersand for the um, variable name which basically states that we want to store um, a value in this address um, but now that it's a float we need to change that to an F which stands for float save it and uh, in fact we want to change this to a float as well because the result will be of a float and if we run it again 3.5 and 2 the answer is 7 so that that works quite well um, one uh, one thing I haven't touched on is division. That's uh, simply a forward slash. And um, if we do ten and three, we get three point three 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 a few times. Um, that's all I'm going to cover in this tutorial. Um, you'll notice that this isn't a fully fledged calculator yet because um, we still need to. We'd like the uh, user to um, uh, have a say in what operator is performed on or what mathematical function is performed on the variables entered. So I'm going to be focusing on that in the next tutorial. I'll, um, I'll still be using this program. So uh, tune in for that and you can check my website out at rascal999.co.uk. See you.